By late 2024, the Port of Virginia at 55 feet will be the deepest port along the U.S. East Coast. That could mean more business for the region. Today, port leaders and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers signed the Project Partnership Agreement. Mike Gooding was there. Millions of new federal dollars are on their way to the Port of Virginia. It's all about keeping the maritime passageways deeper, wider, and safer. $225.4 million to be precise, earmarked for the long-awaited Norfolk Harbor Deepening and Widening Project. When complete, the Inner Harbor Shipping Channel will go from 50 to 55 feet deep, and large vessel traffic, commercial and military, will be able to move two directions simultaneously in and out of the port. Bigger ships mean more cargo, and more cargo means more jobs, development and investment in the Commonwealth. The new money comes via the bipartisan federal infrastructure bill and the just signed government spending bill. A ceremonial document signing ceremony made it all official. This is an awesome day because deepening the harbor is really important, allowing uh, the larger ships to come to port. Representatives Elaine Luria and Bobby Scott, along with Senator Mark Warner, were all on hand, making the port improvements they said is vital to securing the region's economic future. Doing nothing would mean the kind of port traffic that's increased over the next couple of years would decline. Doing nothing would mean we would lose jobs and Hampton Roads and Virginia's economy wouldn't be as strong. The port's container volumes grew by 25 percent last year. Operating revenue increased by 39 percent from more than $500 million in 2020 to more than $700 million in 2021. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. It's not just federal dollars making all this happen. Back in 2018, the General Assembly appropriated $350 million in state money to kickstart the project.